Hello and welcome to the first round. Um, didn't actually lose a lot of time. Um, so basically the vet was here, uh, there are some issues with the dog. I uh, was currently 15 years and a half old so I think it seemed a bit obvious that there are some issues. Uh, but to us it's always sad of course to have that happen. Uh, we're up against white uh, with a skull clamp. So this is the guy probably to our left uh, because else I don't see how we can have a skull clamp here uh, because it definitely wouldn't have gone four spaces out of that back um, so weight pressure is gonna be sick here as it always is uh, yes better to exile sure How about your parties, bro? Um, so no clue what what deck he obviously is, but um, the fact that he has a skull clamp will cause me some issues and the nighthawk as well. So yeah. Um, cancel. Um, I think we're gonna do this. Then swing with this. And hope he's a bit scared of this, but I doubt he is or will be. Uh, we can obviously gain a copy from this with Sakashima. Like on more of this uh, playland. Uh, get the Nighthawk in. Oh, yeah, that's that's actually a really good value. Hippie. Interesting. We can also gain a hippie then, apparently. Uh, we'll play this. Okay. Um, take with these. Uh, cancel. Let's first flow to mana. Return these. Play this. Copy a hippie. Which removes Herald from his hand, which is pretty good. Um, cast the jits. And cast this face down again. And pass the turn. Uh, Jit is actually really good against him. The fact that we now have a Jit, uh, a hippie as well. Gruel dress, definitely a good card. Um, I think that's gonna be the first target I will have for Jit. I think he's gonna have a hard time winning against this combination. Yep, that's fine. I think Jit is obviously better than Skull Clamp. He keeps it on the hippie. Uh, I guess that's normal. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything here, which I find surprising. Um, let's just attack. He can block here to draw two. Does will regenerate this. Yep. Yep. And I guess we play a poker side, or we just keep regeneration open again. Now let's play poker side. Add the pressure. So he's definitely gonna be drawing cards here, but uh, not much I can do about that. A really big thing here, apparently. Uh, Elf pet, yep. And uh, destroy all creatures, power for creature. Nah, doesn't actually do much. 
uh, problem is that that has that touch. So we kill this for sure. Guess we have to attack on this. And then doesn't automatically die anyway. Let's see what we get from the top first. Uh, we still haven't made land drop, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, we get a J, so definitely gonna pick that. Uh, let's return. Nah, let's cancel that. Um, let's attack into Elspeth. He can obviously block the hippie, but then his Nighthawk dies. Skull Clamp this is, is pretty brutal though. Just gonna refill his hand so fast. Yep. That's it? Really? No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's obviously a wrong block because this is a. What does it morph into? A 1 3, right? Okay. Um. Let's remove the counter already, just so he gains a lifeless. And we then play land, play noble, pass a turn. Next turn we have Jace. Um, he's gonna create more tokens, I guess. Yep, and he's gonna start keeping him. I can stop two of those. And then he can do it to twice more, but then Elspeth dies. And this combination is, is pretty hard for most decks to beat. I'm surprised he, he blocked this and not this. Like, why not take the traitor? I mean, I understand it, I guess. Uh, no, took a shade, sure, dude, it's just gonna die. Uh, so, if he keeps once, I kill it. I won't kill the second one, I think. So, kill, kill. I'm surprised he plays this. I mean, I'm not surprised he has this in his deck. I mean, I'm surprised he played this this turn while I have a cheat active. Uh, the fact that he does that probably means he has severe issues with um, getting rid of my cards. Um, there's a Borderlands Ranger, which I don't think will be good enough. Um, we can chase, but that doesn't do much. Uh, we attack with everything on the Elspet again. Slaughter pack, sure. I don't think that's actually gonna matter that slaughter pack, but okay. Hmm. 
Why can I not rearrange those? Um, let's guess the J, shall we? Uh, maybe we still guess the Borderlands Ranger. Nah, let's guess the J's. See what we get. Woven Wall Tracker, nice. Yep. Uh, tracker does fighting. This is whenever there's combat damage. Fighting is not combat damage. We learned that in late in the previous video. So um, he's definitely hampered on mana, but I'm still attacking the Elspeth here. So uh, I can basically clear his entire board. He can keep, keep, keep. Try to draw some cards. Which I would do. Um, I think it's still a better option here um, to draw two, because Elspeth is gonna die eventually anyway. Um, bam. So it doesn't do anything anymore. In uh, which case, I still kill one. Then we can just attack Elspeth with this. Um, there's no point in attacking with the other one as well. Yep. Uh, plus. Play Borderlands Ranger. Uh, he doom blades it. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> Do not actually give a shit about that. I just want uh, another land out of my deck. I mean, I do have five lands in hand now. Uh, Eleven already. We have seventeen cards. I was probably gonna clamp it up again. Um, no, he's not. He drops arena, which is a nice one. It's not gonna do anything here. Um, so I'm pretty sure we got Elspeth dead now. Does a poker side come into play? No, not yet. Wow, what a draw. Um, um, minus two. Yep. Um, we'll cast this, but with this, and then we'll discard an island. Uh, could have actually played one. Apparently, did not think about that. Uh, Lighten tutor. Sure, I can just counter whatever he gets. Unless what he gets is a really good one. Um, he actually does not find anything. So okay. Ah, uh, interesting. So he has that card. Um, boom, 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 boom. I don't think I need a counter here. Maybe I do over Seagate or something. Like Seagate and have the Forbidden. Sure. Uh, he'll play first. I want Mulligan this. We have Troll Static again. Uh, we definitely want blue, but it's fine for now. That's a really good one to open up with. Because it basically stops a lot of things I want to do. 
Um, I can also do what here? Because next turn he can start killing things. Which is probably the Fine Horn Elves that's gonna die. And most of my cards are actually gonna die to this. And I just did not have an out against it. Yep, there it is. And then kill the Fine Horn. Take three, that doesn't matter. Really? Thinking about it? Give me three. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of my creatures died to this, so uh, this is gonna be an issue. Like I could play the Oven Wall Tracker, but that's not gonna matter. I've leveled this up twice more. It's a four-four. Obliterator. Okay, let's concede this one. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy plays Obliterator. I think we do want more counter now. Um, probably force back and dismiss. Because we're on the play. Um, what do we want to get rid of though? No, not a dismiss. Maybe just a force spike. Over what? Stag seems really good against him. Borderlands Ranger is probably an arrow's card there is. Out of mind deck. So yeah, okay. Obviously want to play first. Not gonna mulligan this. We have three speaker to pump. Um, oh, cancel. We have three speaker into Jit. Turn two into really again. Doesn't matter because uh, we level this and then tap this. And kill this next turn, cause fuck you, fucking ghoul draws. It's a one to uh please level it. Uh apparently he does not have paints here, okay. Uh killing this is more important. So I am gonna oh, okay. So if he blocks, I just kill both creatures. Uh, he can actually never block. Yep. There's no need for me to do anything here. Uh, I can always wrecked when he levels it for a second time. Uh, I can just kill the pains here if I want to. Uh, yeah, sure. I will take two. Do I though? Do I really want to take two here? Yeah, I don't think I care. Friction Arena is fine. There's an island, so I can copy this and have a painter of my own. I guess that's fine. No, it's not. Um, let's begin combat. Slaughter Pacts. Um. Okay. Then remove this, kill this. Remove this, kill this. Play this. And I do think I play the monster here. Um, it seems a bit greedy to do, but I think still think it's a correct play. Um, we get more creatures for him to have issues with he can't do this yet so next turn we can just um equip the elemental and tech with it um and he's even tapped out so 
He's gonna start driving extra cards. Uh, that's why I want more pressure. Wow. Um, I did not think about that, but it's really sick. It comes into play as a master. Creates me a bunch of tokens again. I keep on this guy. He does block, um, which I do like. It means he's desperate. Like I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have damnation, right? <laughs> yep, take damage. What do I do if he plays Obliterator? Just attack with everything? He plays damnation! in his deck really so he's sideward into a completely different deck then because it makes no sense for him to play Damnation in the deck he played in game 1 I mean it's obviously gonna kill me here yeah okay whatever um <laughs> if you wanna do that I'm fine with that Wow, did not expect Damnation there. I okay, definitely thought I had it. Yeah, I don't think Hippie is ever relevant unless you draw a real bad cards like another land. Uh, we basically drew six cards, he already has seven. Uh, which creature do I want to draw? Troll Static, I guess. Um, Master of the Wild Hunt is really good as well. Mystic Snake would be fine to counter things. Uh, there's the Obliterator, yeah, this is GG. Um, either he got really unlucky in... in his um, first game or he's just getting... <sighs> he got really unlucky in his first game with the way it played out or he got really lucky now like I, I still don't see how he plays Damnation in this kind of deck well I guess I do uh, with the Elspeth and so on but I definitely didn't put him on that card or having that card or having that kind of card uh, yeah <laughs> okay let's concede this uh, so we go one t uh, we go a one and I'll see you guys for a second round